Hello everyone, welcome to Hot News K-Pop. I will share content regarding the latest updates about K-Pop, which will definitely be useful. First of all, don't forget to like comments and subscribe so you don't miss the latest content on my chain. Let's get started. Amidst the popularity of the Korean drama Love Next Door, the soundtrack of the drama was dragged into the issue of plagiarism. The song titled, What Are We Sung by Ha Soon Woon, was said to be a plagiarism of Bak Yeren's song titled 0310. What Are We was released on September 1, 2024, a month after the song was released, and the Korean drama became increasingly popular. More and more people realize the similarities between the song and 0310. Recently, the original soundtrack Ost of the popular drama Love Next Door has been in the spotlight after allegations emerged that the song was plagiarized. The song performed by famous singer Nina is suspected of having striking similarities to an international song released several years ago. Netizens and music fans immediately reacted, sparking a heated debate on social media. This accusation first surfaced on an online forum, where a user uploaded a comparison between the awesome song Love Next Door and the song by the international artist. From the analysis, similarities were found in several aspects, such as the main melody and harmony structure, which further strengthened the suspicion of plagiarism. Nina herself, in an interview, admitted to being surprised by this accusation. She emphasized that she and the OST production team worked hard to produce original work. I never intended to plagiarize other people's work. Music is a personal expression, and I always try to be honest in my work, she said. Meanwhile, the production team of the drama Love Next Door has issued an official statement, stating that they are conducting an internal investigation regarding this accusation. They promise to take firm steps if copyright infringement is found in the OS production process. However, even so, several music observers argue that similarities in the music industry do not always mean plagiarism. In the world of music, similarities in melody or harmony often occur by chance, given the limitations of musical notation. Even so, this case still attracts attention because of the popularity of the drama and OST, which are booming on various streaming platforms. Loyal fans of this drama hope that this problem can be resolved fairly, without damaging the good reputations of the artists involved. Meanwhile, this case is still developing and becoming a hot topic of discussion among netizens. Bak Yeren released a 310 in 2019, which she created herself. It is indeed one of his popular tracks. Knowing that there was an issue that was widely discussed by netizens, Bak Yeren listened to the song What Are We and realized there were similarities. She then spoke out via an Instagram stories upload. You're so bad that you plagiarized, poor thing. If you want a song like mine, just ask me. She wrote on Friday, the 10th of April 2024. Back Yaren's upload on Instagram stories also included netizen comments that mentioned the similarities between the two songs. It was so crowded that Ha Soon Woon's management, Big Planet Made Entertainment, spoke up. In a statement released today, Big Planet Made emphasized that Ha Soon Woon had nothing to do with the creation of the song, What Are We? The artist and management only participated as vocalists for the drama Zost, according to the production house's request. It had nothing to do with the writing, composition, and arrangement process, said the agency that also manages Shiny's team in. Furthermore, in the statement, they regretted that their artist's name was dragged into this plagiarism case. Also hoping that there will be a resolution for Bak Yeri and the production house of the Korean drama Love Next Door. The last two episodes of Love Next Door will air Saturday Sunday, October 5th to 6, 2024 on Netflix. As this issue becomes more widespread, several musicians and copyright experts have spoken up. Kevin Ardianto, a music observer and copyright lawyer, gave his views on the allegations of plagiarism. According to him, in the world of music, the line between inspiration and plagiarism can be very thin. In many cases, similarities in certain melodies or notes cannot be avoided, especially if the genre or theme is the same. However, if the pattern that is imitated is very specific and repetitive, then it can fall into the category of plagiarism, explained Kevin. The record label of the international artist whose song was allegedly plagiarized has also issued a short statement. They admitted that they were studying the case more carefully before deciding on legal action. 
We understand the concerns raised by fans, but we still need time to analyze carefully before taking further action, said the label representative. Thank you in advance for watching this chain. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so I can be enthusiastic about updating the latest news about K-pop.